all YouTubers and random Doctor Who fans. Today's the day. Today's the day. We set off for London to watch the Pete Cushing movies at the BFI. Let's go! Okay guys, so we got our stuff here. We got essential snacks. But now it's time to eat my first breakfast. Yes, I said first, because I eat a lot. Beautiful day. Oh, hi. Look who it is. <laughs> yeah, thanks to see you. So we're on our way to London. Yes. for the BFI uh, Dalek Double Bill screening. I never know what to call it really, because like, you can't just call it a Doctor Who screen. Well, you sort of can, but like, it's, it's the film. Doctor Who not owned by the BBC. <laughs> yeah. Piece of cushing, yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, we're, we're in Leeds train station, and I'm very hungry, as always. You guys should know that I eat all the time, but very excited, very excited. I love these movies, they are my childhood. It's gonna be great, so we'll see you guys in the montage. He doesn't know he's been found. Ah, hello. Only 43% of our viewers are subscribed to the Mono Supreme YouTube channel. This is unacceptable. YouTube content is operating at maximum efficiency. Without the likes and comments, the Dalek race shall cease to exist. All humans must be forced to be part of the Mono Supreme Empire. It will be done. They will subscribe or be exterminated. <laughs> Let's have a look what's around the corner. Dalek, I have defeated you. You have failed. You no longer serve any purpose. You are mine. There is insufficient data. You're trapped a trillion miles from a disintegrated home. So we are in our hotel, a little premiere in. Yeah. Looks very nice. Yes, it yes. is. And, so uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So yes, we're going to be seeing the two Peter Cushing films. Very, very exciting. Um, it's going to be a, a Dalek there, possibly. Yes. In the flesh. Like an Ooh. actual... What, a fan-made one? Or a... I think so. Like some sort yeah. of replica or Probably. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, we're doing the Quiz of Wrestling afterwards, like a pub quiz. Uh, a very niche Doctor Who question. Which happened in the one you went to? Yes, they tend to sort of do them uh, to tie in. And yeah, hoping to meet lots of people, meet subscribers, maybe, who knows. What do we have? Do we have anything? Not much. <laughs> Not much. Not much. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty cool. We've had just a car. Oh, they're down to 10 in there. Oh. Oscar, Oscar. Wake up! Uh, You're gonna be late. It's the BFI today. Today? What? No, today, no, you're joking. It's not today. No. Today. Today? The morning. Uh, it's today. It's today. 
Today! Yeah! Oh wait, hang on, it's three hours until the screening, right? We're about to sleep. Uh, well, don't be late. Okay. <laughs> We're ready to rock and roll, my friends. <laughs> So Richard, I understand this is your first time seeing Dalek's Invasion Earth. It is, yes, the second it is. film. Well, I, I own both of them on DVD. Yeah, yeah. I, I only got around to seeing the first one. And then when I heard about this and the new releases and stuff, I thought I'll hold off. So I'm going to be seeing the, the second film on the big screen for the first time. And yeah, it's yeah. very exciting indeed. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I, I know the plot. Oh, basically. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that, that was the joke. The... <laughs> Did you ever notice how men always leave the toilet seat up? That's the joke. No, I'm just looking forward to yeah all the sort of big sets and stuff because it's yeah like, it's yeah there's a lot of big set the, pieces yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. All the outdoor locations that they created inside as well yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. and stuff at the streets um, no, so yeah it should be really cool. So uh, we've met a fan, Three Boys Coffin. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time, long time viewer, I think. Yes. You look forward to the screening? Yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's your favourite out of the two? Probably the dark one. Yeah, I think that's everybody's right. Yeah, this is great. There's nothing more magical and mystical than a croque monsieur. Oh. Just ham and cheese, just grilled, and it's grease. It's beautiful. Very nice. Guys, guys, it's Rob Sherman. Rob Sherman's right there. <laughs> let's, let's follow Rob Sherman. Alright, it's all been leading to this, guys. We're about to see the Cushing Darling movies. Let's go. This film, as it proclaims in the trailer, is made in technoscope, which is a uh, two perforation format, and anything made from that is anamorphically squeezed as a second generation element. So there's actually the only element out of them all that has the original two perf, but um, the extra things you, you get with that, which you actually have to remove, is actually a one, there's an extra frame on the beginning and the end of every shot. Go and do a, um, a film shoot on it and uh, a casting shoot. And um, he down at Shepperton, and uh, there was um, a, a scene of a, a library sort of thing. And um, I had to go in, and uh, he told me to pick a certain book and then open it up and read it. So uh, I came in, I had a look around, picked the book up he told me to pick up, opened it up, and it was Spike Milligan. Mm -hmm. um, and his poems, and I could, I didn't know head and tail what I was reading from it or anything, so I thought, oh, I've blown this. <laughs> and, um, but by the time I'd driven home from Shepperton, home, um, I got the call to say that I'd got the job. You must have impressed them very quickly if they came back yeah. that first Yeah. Yeah. And Jill, obviously you came in second. Just out, out of interest, um, is there anybody here who had never seen either of these films before? Just put your hand up, you'd never seen the films before. 
was actually quite a lot. So I'm actually going to try and be as spoiler free as I can, but that's difficult. But, um, <laughs> but you come in in the, in, in the second film, Jill, sort of, I mean, you're, you're, it's a new character, but you're, because, because I, I think these are based on TV stories, you're sort of replacing Barbara, um, who'd been played by Jenny Linda. Um, uh, can you just tell us a bit about your, about your memory of, of getting the role and, and how it came about? Well, I went for an interview and I met Gordon and I don't remember much more really, except that that was that. And do, I don't know if you know the answer to this, Roberta, but do, do we know why Jenny didn't come back? Was there, was there, because obviously she and Roy Castle were both in the first film. Yeah. And then obviously we had Jill, we had Bernard Cribbins in the second film. No, I don't, I don't know why they didn't. Whether they had work commitments, I don't know. I don't know if Anthony oh, knows. They happened quite quickly, actually. The films, I think, were made pretty much. I mean, you know, could have, the first one was released, and it was straight on to the second film, yeah, wasn't it? I think we made the first one in March 65, and the second one in March 66. <laughs> All right, it's going. Um, hey, I'm, I'm Ethan under, <laughs> underscore Luke, and um, I'm in the video, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're getting as many people as we can. Do you want to be in it? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. What's your oh, name again? Uh, I'm Joe. Joe? Oh, nice to have you here, man. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> Did you both like the movie? Uh, yes. Yeah, like, yeah. it was a lot more goofy than I expected it to be. Like, um, I've got to say, I mean, I vaguely remember seeing it as a kid, but so this was a big refresher yeah yeah years. as the assistant director was saying it wasn't expecting it being last than it but you know it was an experience and I, 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 I'm excited to see the second one because I mean I actually only just recently saw Dalek Invasion of Earth the actual story and right, right. Um, I don't know if you've seen it but like the way it ends like I mean I did enjoy it but I remember finding that a bit goofy like them just kind of literally just, just picking up the Dalek and just throwing them about yeah the just throwing them about so, so I'm curious to kind of see how it's done in, in this one like well they're saying this one's a bit more darker so I'm, just, I'm curious to kind of see what you mean by that? So. Yeah, it yeah, should be fun. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah, I'd seen these movies countless times for like the last 14 odd years. So. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's like um, more of a re evaluation. Right. When you it's a new experience, isn't it? Yeah. It's great. So I yeah. didn't realise how comedic it was until people started laughing. Everyone laughed. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So the first film has just finished, guys. We'll save the thoughts for our wrap up uh, later on. But we, we socialised, we met some really cool people, and we, we met the head of character options, Al Juar. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can cut that. <laughs> Cheers, babes. Hasn't had much work since the film, so if anyone is casting, all right, have a word. Go on, Stan, tell us what just happened. Well, I just gave a thumbs up to Eau yeah. I think that's how you say his name. Yeah. And he just gave me a prototype, David Tennant, Sonic Screwdriver. Oh. It's so lucky. So lucky. Oh, yeah. For no reason. <laughs> You're in the prototype club now. Yeah, yeah, yeah prototypes. Yeah. This is my first one. <laughs> well now done. I'm collecting them. Okay, we are back from the uh, Peter Cushion movie BFI screening. So, yeah, yeah. very, very exciting stuff. Uh, we watched both films, we had Q&A with Roberta Toby and Jenny Linden, I think. Uh, so that was Susan and Louise in the second film. Yep, yep. Um, there were like other special guests as well. The Sons of the Writer came along, like showed us some oh, funky yeah. documents and things. Oh, that was great. I love seeing the uh, Dalek yeah, plans. Yeah, that's amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. plans for the Daleks in the original film. Get on, there's like the assistant director guy as well. Director. He was there briefly and then... He didn't really want to be there. But, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well. Um, but yeah, no, it was really great. I, you just, I was seeing the second film for the first time. I think I prefer the first, actually. Right. Um, oh, that's but maybe once I've watched it more times, uh, which I will be doing. Yes. Um, then, then, yeah, then maybe that'll change. Um, no, we met lots of cool people in the bar afterwards and just around and about as well. Um, off the top of our heads, um, well, the very first person we met was uh, before the screenings people have seen, I suppose. Um, Stanley, loyal um, viewer to this channel. Yes, Three thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. first one. Uh, it's great to see you, and we hang out with you after the, with the quiz and stuff as well. Who else was there? There was there was Ethan. Ethan, Ethan, yeah. Uh, Joe, Adam, uh, saw Dave again. Is there anyone else? Like, well, I mean, we met. Yeah. A few, we met famous yeah. faces. I was there. famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's crazy to see Al. Al Duo. Al yeah. Duo. I mean, we were taking photos when we were the Dalek and stuff. I was just like looking at the Dalek. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You were like, oh, Richard. 
turn around and behind you, that's Al Dua. And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder um, whether he gets recognised that much. Yeah, what with him being behind the scenes like, kind of stuff. Yeah, so. he, was, he was great. And um, who else do we do we see? I mean, that, well, yeah, like, Rob Rob Shaman was there, writer yep. of Dalek, uh, and Joy Wilkinson, writer of Witchfinders. Uh, they were like together, and so we we saw them around about. Um, didn't catch them at the. Th the event itself, but then we sort of saw them later on, didn't we? We were going After back to ourselves, and we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. go on, now let's go and let's go and get a little bit of a and have a chat with I them. Had to take the opportunity, because they Absolutely. would have left otherwise. So. Yeah. Probably about, I mean, we got a hold of these as well, uh, 24 hours early. The collector's edition of, of, of the new restoration of uh, the first film. Yeah. Uh, the second one's out in about a month's time, I think. And I got uh, five pounds off of this. Because yeah, I'm a student. student. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take that. <laughs> Lucky. Take that. Um, but yeah, very nice, chunky. I haven't opened up yet, but so I got lots of bits of tight inside, like bits yeah, of paper. And, uh, and I'll be doing a, a review of oh, this, I think. My first I'm ever Blu-ray review. So Something's shaking inside my I don't know if that's going to happen. Same with me, but it might be uh, the coin or something. The coin, who knows? Or, or it's the discs. Yeah. It'll be the discs, probably. Oh, I would have free postcards as well we got. You got this print of the Paradigm. Yeah, this beautiful Daleks, pop art uh, thing. Well. Yes. Fantastic. Um, Very cool. That was like on the bookstall a bit outside the BFI. Mm. So yeah, all in all. But I mean, what did time. you think of the, the quality of the, the actual the films, screen yeah. itself? I mean, they yeah. looked amazing. Um, I, I'd seen the first film once already on like DVD. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. obviously it's going to be better than that. I mean, I can't quite remember the exact, but the, 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 they just looked amazing. I mean, I grew up on it looking terrible. Like yeah. Pirate well, copies and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it was, it was amazing <laughs> yeah. to see it. How it's supposed to be seen. It's a far cry from, yeah, like uh, yeah, Channel yeah. 5 it's repeat or whatever, isn't it? It's the uh, definitive way to see it. Yeah. If you guys can catch the screens up and down the country, mm. I 100% recommend yeah. you do. 10th July, I think most of them are taking place, like yeah. a few weeks' time from when this is happening. They haven't been particularly well advertised, but if you like just Google Doctor Who Double Bill. Uh, and like maybe like your nearest town or city, whatever. I mean, it, it was just it was just weird seeing it in 4K because it felt mm. like it was filmed now in some shots. Mm. As in, it, it felt yeah. new. It felt like I was watching it for oh, the first yeah. time. Oh yeah, no, totally. Like, yeah, I wouldn't have thought. Well, obviously, yeah, it was like shot like 60 years ago, or whatever. But like even so, it felt like you say it felt so new, and it's great yeah. to celebrate it. Yeah, um, and definitely to have, have it a little moment in the limelight, really. But yeah, thank you for well, yes, everyone who said hi. Uh, it was great meeting up with people. It was it was nice to mingle with fellow Dot Who fans, and yeah, I mean, I would have liked to have met Roberta Tovey and I forgot her name. But uh, Jenny London. I Jenny London. Her name, yeah. But I didn't fancy just meeting them for two seconds and then uh, going. I yeah. would rather it be a bit more, a bit more personal, like at a Comic Con and you know, something like that. But sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But great weekend. I, I'm definitely gonna try and get down to another one of these events. Oh yeah. But. Obviously, with the bean pricey, not every single one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder whether they'll do it for the next Blu-ray release or not. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, Abominable Snowman presumably is the next thing on the agenda, like the next animation. Um, yeah, and yeah. then just whatever collection sets come in after that as well. So yeah, who knows? Um, but it's great to have a Dalek theme one, isn't it? It's, yes. Because um, that's I think yeah. it's happened like once, twice before, but like it's just it, yeah, it's great to have a proper big Dalek. And to have the Dalek there as well, the replica. Yeah, they had a be yeah. beautiful Okay, going world, Dalek. world about the place, didn't it? In Brilliant. In various spots. I don't, I don't know how to close it off, no. but <laughs> either way, for thanks for watching. And yeah. check out Rich's channel. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. And his Twitter, Stetson Doctor, right? That, yes, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes. And, yeah, we'll see you guys yeah. when we see you. Cool. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Bye. Check out Monastery Mania. Extra channel. Extra stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>